Yes, I'm Rachel Prentice coming to you with weekly news. Starting August 30th, every Monday and Wednesday, Coach Cook and Coach Klemner will have open gym for girls basketball. Please see them for further details. Saturday, September 25th at 8.30 in downtown Newcastle, the Hope Community Center is looking for participants to race. It is $25 to race, also including a t-shirt. If any volunteers would like to work water stations, timers at mile markers, start and finish line, plus more, contact Coach Klipner. You can find the link to sign up in your grade level Google Classroom. A group of FFA members went on a class field trip to the State Fair last week and viewed some exhibits. Some of our own Wildcats are showing their livestock at the fair this week. This includes Ashlyn Tingle, Caden Kephart, Dustin Turner, and Jackson Scriber. We will have more information on this next week. Last week, students participated in their mentoring groups and competed in Wildcat games as well as door decorating competition. Check out what Ms. Grimes has to say about it. So as far as the mentoring groups and how they got started, I actually came from a school before I got hired here at Henry County to be one of the counselors that had mentor groups. And every student was assigned a teacher and they met with that teacher every day of the week and just kind of touched base with that teacher, that, that mentor teacher, and developed a really strong relationship with them. We sent out a survey just kind of asking students um, what they needed and kind of who they felt like their trusted adult was in the building. And what we found from those results was that nearly 50% of those students had said that they could not identify a trusted adult in the building. And so as your counselors, we are trying to really increase the culture around here and really increase the sense of community and sense of belonging because everybody deserves to be known. So on Friday, what we ended up doing is coming up with something that actually was Mr. Sagasser's idea um, of a scavenger hunt. And that was so much fun. Students were running up and down the hallways, having a good time, looking for stuff that Mr. Sagasser and Mr. Sutley kind of um, made as riddles for the, for the kids to have uh, and find. And so that was part of our Friday activities. Um, that was one part of it. And then the other part was they got to do a door decorating contest and that was Miss Bergen's idea as well. And that was really good just for some camaraderie for the students to kind of work together as a team um, in addition to the scavenger hunt. So it was a lot of team building activities and just being part of that community. Okay, so my experience with the mentor groups, it went really well. We all got along really easily and uh, we all felt like we could share our opinions on certain things we did. I feel like with the common interest thing, that really helped group together people who were alike and that it really helps uh, the whole mentor idea of it. I really enjoyed the scavenger hunt. We worked together well and it was a good experience all around. Now the moment you've all been waiting for, the winners of the door decorating competition. My dude, Mr. Matherly, winning the Tastefully Tacky, Wise Heart comes in first for the best design, and Miss Shear comes rolling in with first place for best theme. Get it? Bowling? Rolling? <laughs> but now giving you off to the meteorologist Trenton Hahn. Hello everybody, I'm Trent Hahn. I'm the weather man. And as you can see behind me, it's gonna be a lot of rain. All the green is all the rain that's coming in this weekend. And then as you can see, it's gonna be hot, but it's also gonna be raining all weekend. So make sure you stay inside and stay cool. And I'll see y'all next week. Well, that's it for the Wildcat News. Thank you all for watching and I'll catch you all on the flip.